hey everyone welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing today now for today i have a a love spell for you guys a love ritual um first thing that i have here is some dried rose hibiscus you can use um but i would prefer dry um, only because we're going to crush up all the herbs but really it's up to you right right okay so it depends on you how much you want however much it feels right so i threw about a pinch or so in here at least my type of pinches right <laughs> okay then you are going to need some type of wooden um whether it's a skewer a chopstick a pencil wooden pencil um an incense it's up to you and i do have an incense going a jasmine one to be specific and i do have a um, white candle going on over here okay and then you're gonna need a candle i have here an erotic candle but um you know that's just me being extra you can definitely use a white candle you can use a um red candle pink candle you can use a taper candle you can use a seven day candle you can use a birthday candle whatever you have go ahead and use that um to the side okay so here is our beautiful candle here and for my base oil i'm gonna use sweet almond oil um you can use olive oil you can use you know whatever base oil that you have the only reason why i'm using almond oil sweet almond oil is because this is a love ritual i want to sweeten it up um so that's the only reason why i'm gonna use it but if you don't have sweet almond oil then just use you know whatever base oil you have um and if you don't even have that but you just have these botanica oils that they sell you can go ahead and use that as well um and really i'm just I'm going to go ahead and use this one, but really it's for show. Um, it's better if you just make your own. Um, but here is, and you can, you can buy these, of course, but I would make it your own. Add your own herbs in there and put your intentions into it. You put the magic into it because these places, most likely they don't do that. About 95%. They don't do that. Okay, so first things first is... Oh, let me just go ahead and finish telling you guys the ingredients. Um, cinnamon. You can use cinnamon sticks. You won't need a lot, maybe like half of one or depending on what size you have. Um, or you can use just cinnamon powder. That is to, you know, attract. Okay, then I have here garlic. I wanted to protect, I want to use garlic to protect our relationship, um, to protect our love, so on and so forth. I'm using it for my protection. If you don't have garlic, go ahead and use sage. Um, you want something to protect your relationship. If you don't even have sage, go ahead and use salt. Um, and you want some type of attraction as well. And I do have here... Um, uh, red pepper because I do want to also spice spice up the relationship but that's it you guys that's easy ingredients you don't need much um, intention number one I am going to cleanse cleanse your candles of course um, rinse them off if you need to with water cold water um, to remove all the dust and you know so on and so forth and i'm going to go ahead and do that right now and then i'm going to grab some florida water um i forgot to bring it over here 
if you if you're burning sage you can just run it through the sage um, or frankincense or any type of resin that you have whatever you have going lit lit up um, you can use incense as well um, but I am gonna go rinse it off with water and already start putting my intentions into it you know I want to cleanse our body just visualizing that we're clean number one and then with the Florida water that's going to um, cleanse us purify us um, to start removing that negativity the blockages anything that is coming in between us um, so that's second step and then after that I'll see you guys right back here okay so I'm done rinsing us okay done rinsing so again you want to do if you're using a taper candle just a plain taper candle um, then you would do the same if you're using the glass candle you would do the same just you know because we have to remember that's like when you have when it's dirty dusty um, bacteria and all that stuff it's negative negativity sticks to it um, there's blockages energy right okay so I went ahead and did that and I remembered that I had made um, on one of my previous videos I did show you guys how to do a rose um, rose water so this is what I did I I bought a spray bottle here and I did rose water Florida water and the rest water and then just of course shaked it up put my intentions and I did leave this on um, Virgin Mary's altar because um, of course to me that's um, she's she's my world she's my everything and um, you know she's nothing but love and just brings that purity in, in me that cleansing that good that I need especially in love and in wonderful works so I'm going to go ahead and spray this, spray the couple here, not too much, just enough, and then rub, rub, and I'm going to rub downwards because I want to bring that love and that attraction in. You know, you can just get, be very creative here. I'm just trying to keep it PG. All right. So, we rinsed our candle. We cleansed our candle. Now, let's get to the nitty-gritty stuff. So first, I'm going to start with my my roses here. And I'm going to, again, I'm going to bring it to me. So I'm going to move clockwise and already start to put my intention in here. So roses, of course, are a sign of love, happiness abundance and love so just visualize I'm gonna have to pick it up so just visualize you guys um, you both one another deeply in love happy Should have grabbed my other mortar and pestle because this one is not the best, but we have to make it work. Okay, as you can see, there's still pretty big chunks here. They were just regular, um, I got the ones that come in a bag. So if these are fresh flowers and you dry them up, it, this would be much easier to crunch up. 
but it's okay. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and leave it. I would make them smaller, but it's okay because I'm going to keep my eye on this candle anyways. Okay, um, and I know you guys see a piece of garlic here. I want to show you guys another, another thing you could do after we're done with this one. All right, next, we're going to add our cinnamon. To feel attracted to one another every time we see each other we go crazy for one another we are deeply attracted to one another in the bedroom in the shower while he is passing by while I'm passing by again you're visualizing everything the way you want it to go you're visualizing you're waking it up and you're telling these herbs these oils what to do how you want it when you want it that's why you visual visualize it now because you want it now right right okay then the garlic there's really no particular, you know, on how, what step here. But of course, you don't want to add the oils onto here. We're going to put the oils directly onto the candle. So all we need is just the herbs. We'll put some garlic in here to protect our relationship from anyone is trying to come between us any envy people this could be anybody the lady down the street your cousin their cousin there's always people that are trying to come in and break you and be nosy we don't want that. We don't need that. All right. Last but not least, the red pepper flakes. I really want to spice things up, as you can see. And what I mean by spice it up, meaning, you know, when you're when you're about to kiss, it's not just a regular peck. Um, it's, whew, you know, every moment is just crazy, intense, and just so much energy between both of you coming together and you know it's just whew, it's that fiery love that spiciness in the bedroom it doesn't necessarily always have to be in the bedroom but that good spice you know irresistible you can't wait to hug one another, to kiss one another, and not just any regular kiss, not just any regular hug. No, no, no. This is a crazy type of love. Head over heels type of love. A sucker for love. All right. So... You can make it as powdery as you want or how big as you want. Um, it's up to you. But just be very careful if you are going to have them really big, the herbs, um, like mine. But again, since I'm using 
a non glass candle and I am going to be eyeballing this we'll be okay all right next we're going to add some almond oil and I'm going to go ahead and bring something down here so I don't have to get it all over my cloth here okay um where did I put here. Where did it go? Oh, here it is down here. Okay, I'm going to write on his side. I'm going to put his name. I'm going to put his name and then I'm going to put my name. And then you can definitely put birthdays. So you can put first and last name and then birthday, first and last name, birthday. You can also put it underneath. And if you're using a glass candle, um, again, I like to put always on the bottom too. First and last name, birthday, first and last name, birthday. And then around two, if you want. Um, or coming, coming this way, so start the name. So you would write, because you're attracting, you're, you're wanting to bring it in, right? That love. So you would write, you would start with the first letter of the name here, here, down, down. And then birthday, the, your name would be the same. Your first letter of your name and work your way down and then birthday. But while you're also writing that, you're, you know, you're visualizing both of you coming together as one. Okay. Okay, and then at the bottom as well, or also what you could do um, if you just want to write the first and last name here, and then just start putting all over the candle, you know, love, um, uh, love, faith, trust, sex, you know, things like that. It's up to you you can do sigils you can draw just hearts everywhere All right. Next, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start with our the almond oil, your base oil. So I'm just gonna drop a few drops. Got a little too excited there. Then. You are going to get your hands dirty. That's good. You want to put your your energy into here, your intentions. So again, we want to work down, our hands down. If you're doing um, to remove, to take away, then you would go this way, like going out. But you're bringing it in, so you're 
visualizing each other coming together as one and loving one another. And you, you'll know when it's done, when you're done to move on to the next step. Beautiful. I already feel the fire. I already want him home. <laughs> okay. So after this, then if you're going to add, you know, other oils, Flopanica oils, then, you know, you would add some more oils. So this one does say irresistible, um, but only because it says it, I'm going to go ahead and say it again and visualize it, us being irresistible. But with that base oil that you put, especially the sweet almond oil, you can also use coconut oil. Um, is just good. You don't need all these other oils, these expensive oils. You can make your own. Only just look beautiful. Great. All right, now time for the herbs. So I'm just going to grab some here. And again, I'm I'm working inwards here. Since it's not powdery, it is going to fall, but it's okay. Because you can also put a circle around your herbs that you made moving clockwise. So don't freak out. Because it won't stay. It's fine. on here smell all sorts of type of smells here garlic the sweet almond oil for sure there we go you guys that simple and you just grab the rest of your herbs that you have here But, you know, I really hope you guys can crush them up and make it to a nice powder. And you guys are within this circle. There's nothing but love and purity and protection within this circle. Okay. Then... Go ahead and put your intentions once again put it all together bring all that energy in then go ahead and light it it's up to you whatever time you want to light it whether it's a full moon new moon it doesn't matter and then once you light it up again put your intentions into it okay so that one's done there i wanted to go ahead and show you guys um another quick a quick one but this one is for a um oh and if you guys are single here's another good one if you guys are single and you're looking for a partner um so you can definitely use the same herbs but instead of, of course, you don't have a name for that person. But you are you want to envision someone, you know, into your life. Someone who's going to treat you really well. Both of you are going to treat each other well. Both of you are going to love one another. You're going to be there for one another. You're going to 
when it comes to sex it's going to be great it's going to be spicy you know that's another thing that you can do so with this candle perfect you know you would write your name or if you're a guy you would write your name and you would leave you wouldn't write a name but you would envision just you know a female or whether you want to be with a male and you're a male it doesn't matter you know you are already visualizing you know a wonderful person both of you guys are going to be wonderful with one another okay um all right so now what i wanted to show you guys is with the garlic here if you are wanting to bring somebody back okay with garlic you're going to take off the excuse my hands you're going to take off the the shell okay so this part here you're going to remove it all you're going to have a pretty much a peeled garlic clove one you only need one then you're going to need one bay leaf and you're going to write your name your first and last name okay and you're going to be well it does it won't really matter because you're going to carry it so but you also but while you're doing it you want to make sure you're on top okay so you're going to have a bay leaf first and last name and then their first and last name on another bay leaf so you're kind you're going to make a sandwich pretty much and you want to make sure the bay leaf is a full one doesn't have cracks or anything like that you want to try to get the fullest fullest one um so his name or her name will be on the bottom whoever you know you're trying to bring back into your life so their name will be on the bottom then the garlic clove and then yours then you're telling you, you know you're already visualizing that you know john smith you can't live without me another day you won't be happy until you're with me you know you can't stop thinking about me you know be also be very careful on what you're saying too you know you could be like i want him back but that's it like no you got to be more specific with your words and you're talking as if it's now and it's happening already not wishes and dreams and fantasies and no it's it's happening right now so you're telling your herbs your oils what to do okay so after you're done placing them as a hamburger again you're already going to be speaking you know you're telling this herbs what to do okay then you're gonna get yarn a red or a red string okay and I did bring some here ah, have it all tangled up so let's just pretend my garlic and my um the bay leaf is my my finger here so you're going to bind one another so you're just going to wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. And you're bringing it in towards. So you want to come this way. Don't wrap it the uh, this way. Wrap it inwards. Okay? And then once that's done, then... Put that there. Once that's done, you're going to carry it with you. Okay? Because you want him with you. You want her with you. And when this person has returned, when this person has reached out to you, then you want to make sure first that they're, you know, coming in back into your life for sure. Not just say, hey, how's it going? Bye. Have a good day. Have a good life. You know, if you know, you want them to come back. So you want to make sure they're in your life. Um, so I would how it depends how you feel. It depends on the situation. Everyone's going to be different. So after that, um, there's different ways that you can, um, you can either keep it somewhere hidden where he or she will never find it. You can, um, 
bury it in your garden you can buy a potted plant with beautiful flowers and all that um you can you know dig it in there it's up to you however you want to do it you know um if you don't just don't want to be with that person anymore then just unwrap it unwrap it all and you know just say it's i undo this spell um it's you know it's different it's up to you however you want to do it whether you want to just completely for you know keep that person in your life but you want to you know continue to flow and for it to keep coming you could throw it down a river um just so your love can just keep going and going and going for one another um it's up to you another thing here you guys that i am going to be using is going back to our candle here and you can also put this on your glass candle you can wrap wrap your string around to bind one another okay and you can do three knots you can do um five knots seven knots it's up to you however you know however you feel how many knots you want to do okay you guys um other than that that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys do it please let me know um and i'll talk to you guys soon until then take care